All right, what's going on YouTube? Tipitor Reviews back with another Funko Pop review. A little bit different this time. Instead of doing the static camera and moving the box around, I'm just going to try to move the camera around. So hopefully it's not too shaky. Got some natural lighting coming in. Which hopefully it'll be a little bit better once we get the figure out of the box. But this is number 1107 in the Pop Movies line. Ellen Ripley. It is a six inch pop. She's with the power loader from Aliens, which of course is the sequel to Alien. Never actually seen this movie, but I'm familiar with the scene, and this pop was too cool to pass up. As you can see, it is the companion piece to the 6-inch Alien Queen, which came out many years ago, and it is a GameStop exclusive. So there it is, I've got the top of the box. I believe this came out probably a month ago or so. It was on pre-order for a while, um, but my local store had it in stock, so I picked it up. So we're gonna go ahead and get it out of the box and show you guys a closer look. All right, now here's the figure out of the box and I brought over some other pops for size comparison. You can see we got Spider Hulk on the left and Chell from Portal on the right. And it's not a full six inches, but Spider Hulk is also on the bigger end. He's a little bit over six inches. He's like six and a quarter. Um, the pop itself is only about five, but if you count the two little pieces that stick up on the top, it's about five and a half and then next to a standard pop which is you know three and three quarters it's a little bit taller than that now the most disappointing thing about this pop is it's hollow the entire body of the power loader is hollow it doesn't feel vinyl it feels like cheap plastic and you can see on the bottom it is licensed by 20th century studios the fac sticker is the first time i've ever seen that on a pop that it's compliant um, the power loader is not super detailed, but it's not bad for a pop figure. You can see, like with all the um, hydraulic units, they painted them silver. There is some arrows, like there's your bolt. You got some of the caution striping that you'd see. A little bit of silver on the inside of the claws here. You can see the joysticks are black. Some good te detailing on her with the blue pants. Different colored shoes. Little overall straps on the belt in black. You can see the seat padding. It's hard to see in the picture, but it actually is um, separate pieces of padding on the unit. A couple more of the hydraulics on the bottom. Here's where the detail is lacking, where it's just all yellow. With the hollow nature of the pop, it does make it kind of feel more like a toy as opposed to a collectible. But it's not bad if you don't pick it up. It's a pretty good representation of the power loader. Um, the bars on the front are a little close to her face. But she does have some detailing with the <clears throat> eyelashes, some scars under her right eye. Uh, paint application is not perfect, but not terrible. Up top, you can see they tried to do like a little black wash for the metal grating, but it didn't come through that good. There is a little translucent red for the, the light on top, which is pretty nice. Other side, all the sticker applications, which they're not stickers, but you know what I mean with the cross sections, are all the same as what's on the other side. And on the rear, again, not great. I don't know if they did like a black wash with this or if it's just the black is um, in the yellow. But you can see the two pistons, a little bit of detailing. So they did put some effort into it, but for a $20 pop, it could have been better. Because if you have Spider Hulk, his whole body is 100% solid. So they're definitely trying to cut down on costs. He weighs a whole lot more. Um, obviously the good news is this is not a bobblehead. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense to be a bobblehead. But yeah, it would probably be a great companion piece for the Alien Queen, which unfortunately I do not have. Uh, but for $20 and I had a $5 reward, I went ahead and picked this one up. Again, it is GameStop exclusive, so that's why it's like a dollar premium. Normally the 6 inch pops are like $18.99. Uh, but it's definitely a cool piece if you're a fan of the franchise, or if you just like the look of this robotic mech suit, I would definitely pick it up. So that's it guys, just another video. Hopefully the audio is not too bad, lighting's good, and it's not too shaky. I tried to keep a steady hand. If you're wondering what's in the background there, it's one of my VIP LEGO rewards that I haven't got framed yet. So I just had it sitting there as a little backdrop. But that's it. Comment down below if you picked this figure up. Like the video if you liked it. And I don't have anything planned right now, but you can subscribe if you want to subscribe. And hopefully I'll post some videos in the future. So as always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you whenever I make another video.